All right, before we hop into the video today, just a quick thank you to our sponsor, Sports TNB. Hey, if you play 2K, you know the grind is real. The badge grind can get tough, so if you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and everything like that, um, visit SportsTNB.com. Make sure to let him know Hayden YT sent you, and he'll get you everything you need. He's legit. First link in the description down below. Go check it out. All right, what's going on YouTube? Hey, near today we're back with a brand new video. Um, before we get into the video, make sure to hit the like button if you enjoy, the red subscribe button, and hit the post notification bell to know when I post content on this channel. Comment down below what you think of the video and everything like that. All right, so today was day number one of National Signing Day, December 18th. This is where the majority of everything goes down on the recruiting front for uh, football. Pretty much today we're gonna go over all the Georgia commits and some updates on some other of the of the other people who uh, did not actually end up signing today yeah pretty much just a recap of everything that went down so georgia ended up signing 14 of its original 16 hard commits today and then we would go along and get three uh, people who weren't original hard commits i would say today was a pretty good day for georgia we had about five people that we thought would pr can maybe choose georgia and three of them ended up choosing georgia so we started off the day the first person actually uh signed their letter of intent was mikhail sherman which he would be our top rated player he's pretty much been a dog all the way through he was destined to be one of the guys who would end up signing his letter of intent today for georgia i think mikhail is going to be a big part of this uh georgia defense going forward as we might end up losing someone like amonte rice to the draft I believe Tay Crowder's a senior, if I'm not mistaken. McCall could definitely be a guy who come in and get some playing time pretty quickly. Going going down the list, I'm gonna try and go in order from the highest rated prospects down to the to the lowest rated prospects here. So we got offensive tackle Tate Ratledge today. He's a 6'6, 322 tackle out of Rome, Georgia. He's a four-star according to 247, which I'm gonna be using 247 pretty much to go through this whole entire video and everything like that so yeah Kendall Milton's one of the guys who was like Mikhail Sherman he was uh destined to be a Georgia Bulldog he's been committed for a while and stayed true to his commitment today by signing his letter of intent the four-star running back out of California I mentioned this last video but if you didn't check it out he's actually the first Georgia commit out of the state of California since 2006 so pretty big pool there for Kirby Smart this year and then a guy who I think can come in and be a uh, play a pretty big role for us is Marcus Rosamy is he's going to be coming in filling some holes at the wide receiver position we've got we've got a lot of depth at the re receiver position a lot of high rated prospects from previous years there in my opinion the wide receiver room is pretty much wide open so if you can come out and prove uh at camp that you're a star you can probably get some pretty good playing time uh, another original commit would be Jalen Carter. He signed his letter of intent also today out of Florida. He's the six foot four defensive tackle. He's also another four star. He's a big gift for Georgia to go on the defensive line. It's one thing that Kirby's always focused on. He likes to get people down in the trenches. He likes to focus on the O line and D line a lot. That was one. That was one of his main uh, things when he got to Georgia. Was he wanted to focus on that first? He definitely did end up doing that. We got a lot of depth on the D line and O lines. Currently, because of that, uh, so Jalen Carter is another nice pickup for Georgia. And then a guy that is going to bring a lot of speed to this football team, which is Arian Smith, six foot one receiver out of Florida. Arian Smith and Rosemi are both out of Florida. I know with Rosemi that uh, Florida was definitely looking at him. I don't know about Arian Smith, but that's two guys to take them out of the state of Florida away from programs like Florida and Florida State. And he's one of those guys that I noted that he was not an original Georgia commit, so he's one of those three out of the five players that we got today. Then we got Jalen Kimber out of Texas, the cornerback, another four star as well. Got a lot of four stars in this class. One official five star, I'll touch on the other one here in a minute. Actually, I might as well talk about it now that I'm on that note. The other five star would be Bro Derek Jones. Bro Derek Jones and Cedric Van Pran are both two offensive linemen that aren't going to be officially signing anywhere until February so we don't know about them yet we don't really have a, a word on where Broderick Jones might be going no really official news or anything like that about Broderick Jones coming out so but there might be a couple of hints because we did pick up some other offensive linemen in this that weren't necessarily expected a bunch of a couple of late guys that were uh, additions to this class but yeah that's J uh Jalen Kimber now let's go to another defensive back spot in Major Burns out of Madison Prep Academy. He was a big focus on the video yesterday. Big pull here for Georgia to get him away from LSU. He's a four-star safety. 
uh, he's 6'2", 176. Really like his film and what he can bring to this football team. And I think he can have a pretty quick impact with the uncertainty around. We don't know if Richard Akal might be going for the draft. And J.R. Reed's definitely gone because he's a senior. But we do have people who are already on a depth chart like Lewis Seen that might be stepping up in that role. But you never know what could happen in uh, camp and football and then throughout the offseason. So... We'll definitely see about that one and we got ourselves another offensive line commit chad Lindbergh out of texas he's also another four star six six and a half uh 327 another big offensive lineman haven't really watched much film on him probably will get around to that when i start getting back into these like uh breakdown videos like i did with sherman milton and carson beck where i go in depth and look at their film and what i see in these players and things like that so i definitely Got to get back to doing those videos. Let's move on to the guy who I was just, just talking about, Carson Beck, the pro-style quarterback out of Jacksonville, Florida, and Mandarin High School. He's the four-star quarterback, the eighth-ranked quarterback in this class. He's a guy who's kind of interesting. He had a really outstanding junior season where he got Mr. Football honors in the state of Florida. But then he had a, I guess you would say, a pretty hard stat drop-off in his senior season. But... Many people are brought to the attention that he lost a lot of talent. Uh, he had a bunch of really nice senior receivers who actually ended up going to D1 programs. So a big talent drop off at Mandarin High School. We'll see what he can do when he gets on campus. I'm pretty sure he's an early enrollee and we'll be, be able to get a couple uh, maybe bowl practices in here soon. Then we got another guy in the trenches on the D-line side of things, Warren Brinson. Out of IMG Academy, a lot of Florida guys, a lot of Florida guys in this class, so pulling some guys from Dan Mullen at Florida. Uh, Brinson's another four-star in this class. Like I said, I haven't seen much film on him either, but these guys in like IMG Academy and things like that, there you gotta definitely, to get on the football field there, it's kind of like college, you gotta be a good football player, gotta have high football IQ. Then another guy on the D-tackle, another D-tackle, Nazir Stackhouse. I believe he wasn't necessarily supposed to sign until February, but he actually ended up doing it today. Yeah, he was expected to sign in February, but he, uh, he did his letter of intent today, get, went ahead and got it over with. He is the defensive tackle out of Decatur, Georgia. He's six foot three, three oh six. Really got to get around and watch these film. I can't wait to do these breakdowns so I can really get in and watch uh, their, their highlights and stuff like that. Then we got another receiver commit, the third of this class, Justin Robinson. Out of McDonough, Georgia, six foot four, two hundred pounds. I've seen some pretty spectacular catches from him. Really excited about him. He's uh, an original, like hard commit. He's been committed to Georgia for a little bit. Yeah, he was one of the uh, fourteen original commits who got their pen on paper today. So we got a lot of receivers in this class, which is definitely needed. We got needed some receiver depth. And this is looking like a really solid receiver class. I touch on another guy here in a couple in a minute or so. Then we got a couple surprise offensive linemen, or last I, I won't say surprise, but last minute. Uh, Austin Blasky, the offensive tackle, out of uh, he's out of Georgia here. He's six foot five, two seventy eight. From what I heard, he actually decommitted from NC State yesterday, and put his pen to paper today to come to Georgia. Uh, then Devin Willock, another late get for Georgia. He's 6'6", 345. That's a, that's a big dude right there. He's out of uh, New Jersey, Paramus. I guess that's how you say that. Paramus, New Jersey, out of Paramus, Cla out of Paramus Catholic. Oh, I didn't note that uh, Blasky and Willock, are, they're both three-star prospects, according to 247. And this is what I want to talk about with the offensive linemen. Kind of like a hint. Because obviously Andrew Thomas and Isaiah Wilson both declare for the NFL. And we don't know about Ben Cleveland and Kinley and Solomon Kinley. We went out and got a lot of offensive linemen in this class. And it also could hint that we might not be getting someone like Broderick Jones or someone like Cedric Van Pran. Haven't heard too much on that, so I'm not going to put too much into that. But that's just what I'm thinking here. That Because we definitely... That either means we're not going to get one of these two commits and Jones and Van Pran. Or someone like Kenley and or Ben Cleveland might be leaving for the draft as well so we'll see what happens with that that's just my thoughts on on that one and then we got Jared Zirkle the kicker out of Texas he's a three-star on 247 I've seen some of his kicks he this man can kick a football definitely for sure so that's a nice pickup considering that Rodrigo Blankenship is a senior he'll be going off to the NFL this season most likely as one of the top kickers Lou Groza award winner so we'll see if Zirkle comes in and is an instant replacement for Blankenship or what happens with that. 
And one guy, gosh, I meant to know. I meant to talk about him when I was talking about Justin Robinson. Uh, we asked, we flipped Jermaine Burton today. So another guy that we pulled here from uh, LSU, Jermaine Burton flipped late to Georgia. He's a four-star receiver. Uh, he's the eighth-ranked receiver in this class on the two-four-seven. So that would be another commit out of California. So two California commits in one class. That's pretty special here for Kirby Smart to do work like that. Jermaine Burton's going to be a a big piece of this offense most likely within the coming years. So really liking the receivers we got here. Definitely a step in the right forward in that position. So yeah, that's all the people who ended up signing today. A um, couple notes here that Kelly Ringo actually signed today, but he's not actually announcing it until his Under Armour game. Or not, not, not the Under Armour game, uh, the All-American Bowl in January 4th. And then Darnell Washington, the five-star tight end that we talked about yesterday as well. He hasn't signed, I'm pretty sure. That's from what I'm hearing. He hasn't signed, but he will be making his decision at the Under Armour game uh, January 2nd. So Georgia leaves today with 17 signees out of 23 available spots and we're in the mix on Washington and Ringo and we don't have the official word on Broderick Jones and Cedric Van Pran either. Um, I talked about these guys in yesterday's video but Jordan Birch the uh, defensive end that I was talking about yesterday he actually ended up committing to his hometown in South Carolina and then Eric Reed who was a safety he ended up announcing that he is going to Auburn. So that's the two guys that we missed on when I was noting the three out of five players that we got today. Alright, so looking at it here, Georgia has the 4th ranked class on 247's rankings. I'm not sure if that's including Broderick Jones and Van Pran. I think it might be. But right now, Georgia has a top 5 class on 247. And it might get a little bit better with Ringo and Washington if we can pull those guys. But looking at ESPN's rankings, we're actually the 6th ranked and dropped from number 5. Auburn went to number 5 and Georgia went to 6. But we gotta remember that we have less commits than all these top five teams do so we might be sliding up a little bit if we do end up getting someone like Ringo in Washington but that's all we have for today's video a lot of information a lot of names to take in after today's recruiting cycle I do plan on doing uh, the breakdown videos again starting those up now that we have a bunch of players who are officially signed so definitely expect some more breakdowns like I did with Mikhail Sherman Kendall Milton and Carson Beck but that said um that's the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed and that it's been Hayden. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.